Hello you guys, welcome back to channel Claire. I am just coming to you with a quick video on Eugenia Cooney. Now the last time we talked about Miss Eugenia, she was not in the best of moods. She was feeling very distraught and upset. I'm sure shocked about the news that she's not able to do her battles anymore. She's not able to get the gifts that her audience and fans love to give her throughout her lives that are many, many hours long. So that time that she was spending on live is no longer happening. And it seems like she's now rebranding and she's trying to come at this in the safest way possible to hopefully get those benefits back that she was enjoying on TikTok as a creator. The gifts, the live battles, all of those things she really, really enjoyed. So now she's rebranding to be a makeup girly. Not really a rebrand because she's always been doing the makeup and that's kind of just been her thing along with the cosplaying but it is more of a focus and she's going on and doing her tutorials she did a little valentine's look she did a video on her favorite products and i'm realizing that her i guess of course let me preface this by saying Anybody can wear whatever the hell they want to wear on their bodies, okay? I'm not policing what anybody wants to wear on their bodies, okay? Not at all. The issue was with Eugenia, which is why she is shadow banned and or demonetized off of the platform TikTok, is because, unfortunately, her physicality is not the best. It's not it's so touchy because it is her body and you know you're really not supposed to talk on people's body but we see what it is that she's been doing for years online the body checks the flashing and the outfits are more revealing that she would wear where it would show her skin and bones literally and it's just really really hard to be okay with that when there's so many young impressionable young girls, young men that are seeing this and thinking, well, maybe if I do the same thing, I'll get the same attention that Eugenia does. Um, I remember back in the day, I don't know if you're old enough to know about Tumblr, like Tumblr was, she was big on there. Um, and Tumblr was a field day with the uh, pro Anna content. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, and there are a lot of people that are into that. And it's not healthy. Pro-Anna, meaning pro-anorexia. Giving tips on how to count your calories. Giving tips on fasting. All of those things. And um, she's an inspiration for those type of accounts and people who are into that. So when you are on tiktok and you're doing these lives and or you're doing these videos and you're in these outfits that are showing your literal skin and bones tiktok probably had to take this down due to liability on their end you know they just they can't have they they just couldn't have it they just could not have it and granted god forbid something happens to her and then people are going to be looking at tiktok like well you let her do xyz it was on your platform da, 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 da. you know what i mean so they're protecting themselves so she's coming at it now where she's doing the makeup heavily focusing on that her clothing is a lot more modest you're not seeing a lot of skin I definitely just think that there was some meeting of the minds, whether it was between her and her mother, her and her team, her mother and her team. Somebody sat down and said, okay, this is how we're going to pivot. We're going to put you in less risque clothing. It's going to be more modest, less revealing of your skin and bones. And focus on the makeup, do your tutorials, just have fun with that. And we'll see if your live battles and your gifting and all of that comes back. All the benefits. The thing, though, I want to make clear is that it really does seem as if Eugenia can still get on live. She still can use her account. Obviously, she's still posting videos. It's just that she's not able to do the live battle. She's not able to do, like, the gifting. And that's the main issue. Hi, baby. 
she's not able to monetize it. She's age restricted. That's the main issue. And she tried to spin it in her video like, oh my gosh, I'm miserable because I'm not able to be in contact with my friends and do what I love for eight hours a day, which was really get gifts. So I do see where people say that Eugenia can be a tad bit manipulative um, in trying to garner that sympathy by saying she's miserable and she's, you know, way worse off now when really if she, it was about the friendships and the connections and the community, she could still be on live for eight hours a day. She just wouldn't be making the money and that's what makes it worth it. So, um, and I also did go and look over at Nikocado Avocado because it had been a minute and it was really sad because I can't believe he's still doing the same thing. Like it's been months and months since I have watched a Nikocado video and he, it just seems like he's in the same state. And so it's on both ends of the spectrum. People who are doing the mukbangs and you can clearly tell the health issues that come along with it, like the Amberlynn Reeds, the Foodie Booties, the, you know, it's the same thing. I think that unfortunately here in the U.S. we're more used to seeing more voluptuous bodies. So Eugenia's physicality is more shocking, you know, um, and it gets more focus and attention and more outrage. So um, I did go on Eugenia's TikTok because this is going through her most recent to right before she got age restricted and demonetized. You can see exactly why TikTok was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, we got to do something about this because I mean, as I said before, not trying to police people's outfits, but the outfits she's wearing really highlighted we'll just go through it okay so this is the most current video that eugenia has up on her tiktok as you can see she is showing jeffree star's makeup she's doing her makeup tutorials but looking at the outfits it's the sweaters with the long sleeves oversized a lot more modest than what we had been seeing previously before TikTok went ahead and age restricted her account. And um, it's definitely heavily more focused on makeup. A lot of Jeffree Star cosmetics, that is her bestie. And I really do think that her going on that trip with Jeffree brought out a lot more confidence. But you see, as we get more into December, the outfits get more revealing. You can see everything, you guys. I mean, you can see it for yourself, so I'm not going to say what could be said, but you can see why TikTok probably felt like they had some type of liability, and especially with the flashing claims, just because the bottoms kind of, there's a gap. So there's potential to see other things and undergarments things of that nature. And Eugenia, I mean, it is what it is, you guys. We like to tiptoe around what it is that's happening here, but it could be potential fetish content that people are saying that she's posting, and that's why she's been doing it for years. And this is in December. And going into October is the last video where I stopped recording. And they did give her a lot of time on this platform. They did. I just think that enough became enough. Like right here, that could be potential flashing because you can see her undergarments. Um, showing her undergarments, like her bra and stuff. I'm not sure if TikTok allows that. And then her and Jeffrey, of course. And he's just really... I feel like enabling this. And then this video was just so shocking with the skeletons in her hand and doing like the workout but oh my god they actually do look really heavy but yeah you guys I'm definitely of the mind now that I feel Eugenia knows what she's doing 
Um, I have sympathy. Of course, I don't like seeing her upset. I don't like to hear people say that they're miserable. But at the same time, it does seem like she has pivoted and shifted focus over to doing the makeup and dressing more modestly in hopes of getting the monetary benefits back from her account. And I don't think she's been on live since she did the live kind of breaking down about all of this. And I just feel like if it was about her community and missing them and really wanting to engage with them, that she'd still be on there at least half the time she was before. Get on there for four hours, not eight hours. But she'd still be there engaging her subscribers and followers because she cares about them that much. Um, but I don't think that's what's happening. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if TikTok decides to give Eugenia back her monetary benefits on her account or if they're just like yeah girl no we're gonna actually see need to see you getting help for real and not just say okay now I'm gonna do makeup so that's all for me today I will see you guys in another video I hope that you're doing well it is Friday oh my god we have finally made it and enjoy your weekend. It's always lovely to be on your own time. So very much looking forward to that. And I will see you in another video. So right before I was about to upload, I did see her TikTok where she was over at her grandma's house who has passed, unfortunately. And she was going through her home, I'm sure, you know, with other family, trying to organize things, get things packed up. And she went into the sunroom where her grandmother loved to stay. It was a beautiful room. Uh, it looked like it was a nice house. And then she went into her old bedroom, which was super nostalgic. Um, seeing all the vintage, <laughs> I'm going to say vintage Y2K, um, accessories, computers, blankets, dolls and toys, just very nostalgic because I feel like I've had some of those things myself like there was like this Powerpuff Girls blanket um, she was showing and this little doll uh, Kim Possible doll so like it was kind of nostalgic because I grew up around like the same time I think she's like about to be 30 or something I'm about I'm 30 now so I was around the same age um, but yeah, so this is Eugenia opening up, giving us some personal story, and maybe if she stays on this route of doing the makeup content, doing the personal story, and opening up more, um, maybe TikTok will give back her live gifts and everything like that, but it's to be noted if Eugenia does not go back on live that it is about the gifting and the fact that she can't get them. Because if she cared about her fans and subscribers like that and she really wanted to connect and engage in that way and it, if it really, really bothered her not to have that, she'd be on there regardless. So um, here's Eugenia talking about her grandmother and going through her house. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. I'm actually away for today and I'm away in, in Massachusetts today. Um, I'm actually at my grandma's old house because... If you guys didn't know, um, sadly, my grandma actually passed away, like, last summer. Um, by the way, me saying that, because, like, I don't want people to get mad and stuff. Um, I'm definitely not saying that, like, trying to say feel bad for me or anything like that. Like, I'm really, really grateful for all the years that I had with her. But, you know, I was really close with her. Like, she was living with us for a really long time. So, yeah, just kind of, I think it will always be sad just kind of, like, losing someone like that. And yeah and she was a really really great person so yeah today i'm just kind of like here at her house um her house is going to be being sold soon but we're just kind of like clearing stuff out right now guys i'm just kind of like in the porch room and um this is like one of her favorite rooms so yeah it's a really cute room you guys and yeah she just always loved being in here in a way like it's kind of sad like being here because um i guess it just brings back like a lot of like memories and stuff but um but in a way that's like i feel like a good thing too just like bringing back the memories of her and everything so yeah oh my gosh guys so this room is like very cleared out right now but this was actually my old room 
like when I would like see my grandma here. Um, this is so crazy. This was my first computer. It's actually a Windows. It was a gateway computer. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's like so crazy. Um, and weird seeing this stuff again. My old radio. Um, and then the bed. Wow. Oh, this is something we used to go to like um Rhode Island every year. Then one year I got this like sweater with a carousel. It's actually pretty cute. And then um, what is this? Like a baby. I think it's like a baby mini blanket, I think. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Um and then Wow, so it's so dusty right now, but my old Kim Possible doll. Wow, I never even opened it. <laughs> I loved Bratz so much, you guys. So wow, it's like my old Bratz pillow. Were these like double-sided? Yep, <laughs> they were. Then here's Yasmin and Chloe. Um, and this was my old bed. I actually think it's, it was just, like a really pretty cute bed. It had like these flowers and the bed board and... Yeah, it's just like so crazy seeing this stuff again. I haven't been here in years. Wow, I forgot this existed. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about these. I had all this Winx Club and Totally Spy stuff. Oh my gosh, look guys, it's all like crumbled up right now. But look at my old Powerpuff sleeping bag. This is actually so cute. Like for memories and stuff, I might have to just like bring this back with me. You know? Yeah, so now this is just was my grandma's old basement, guys. Um, it's so crazy, just like so much of her old stuff here. Um, and I remember she'd always talk about this thing. It's like a hair dryer, I guess. You never see hair dryers like this now, so so crazy. Wow, I never I never used it, but wow. Huh, so yeah guys, it's like it is so crazy bring back here. Literally brings back so many memories and I don't know, I'll always love and miss my grandma so much. Um, every day. And she's an amazing person. Hey guys, so 